Welcome in everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys inside there, hit that subscribe, like, share, thank you for tuning in. And we ain't gonna waste no time, we gonna get straight into this one, yeah? Um, <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh, we got Cassius from Zeno, Benzino this, yeah? Um, so I guess this is a reply to Benzino um, going at Eminem, yeah? And Man, I blame Cat Williams. Cat Williams started off this year with smoke. With smoke. Nothing but smoke. And that's all it's been. Yeah, everywhere. Battle rap, hip hop, the females, smoke. <laughs> but it's entertaining. And as much as I do say what I do say when it comes to, you know, um, rappers. You know, whether it's M, Benzino, whoever. Let's just be clear. This is good for hip hop. This is good for hip hop. Whether it looks like I take a side or not, this is what hip hop is about. I can't tell you when last we've had battles, people going back and forth, keeping it on record, not taking it to the streets and all this violence bullshit. This is the essence of rap. So I am grateful for it. I'm glad Benzino came out with his, not the first track. The first track, I don't give a fuck. Everybody want to come at me with shit. It was shit. Say what you want. The second track, I'm not going to lie, that was the best I've ever heard Benzino rap. The tune was the tune was actually good. It was a good diss. Yeah. But then there's so much stuff coming out where saying he's ghostwritten it. It's kind of hard for me to, you know. So let's put it this way. If he did not ghostwrite that last track, Flames. That was a, that was a good diss track. Beat and let's go. Like, you know, there were bars inside there that... That's what you go against somebody when you're in a battle. So if he did not, and nobody is ever for certain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a flame track. I'll put that down as, yeah, if anything, top two Eminem diss tracks of all time. I have to put that with MGK and his, you know what I'm saying? But if he had ghostwriters, now nah, we ain't having it. I'm not having it, not having it. Don't care what no one says, not having it. So... I'll leave it as that. You know what I mean? Still, the fire track. So now we got Cashes. Femzino. <laughs> oh boy, everybody's coming out. I mean, I'll say I don't know how I really kind of feel about this. Because when somebody's going at somebody, I really think it should be back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And needs to reply. You know, when other people come out to reply for someone else, that's all part about a rap as well, too. But we're here, if I diss you, you should be dissing me back. But then, you know, Eminem could be such a big boss where, you know, the youngers be like, yo, boss don't need to reply. You know what I'm saying? You need to go through me before you go to him. And that's what it could be. But we're here for it. We're here for it. Yeah, it's all entertaining. Let's go. This picture alone says a lot. I ain't spoke about this picture because you know what I mean. The picture says itself. Like, what the fuck? Femzino, like, come on, man. <laughs> I got this nigga. I got this. Nigga. You see, don't answer back. I'm search on Benzino, but Google and play. Just pictures of motel with some nigga he bade. You can love what you love, and I ain't mad, nigga. Sorry, Coy, but your dad is nigga. Where I'm in there. Getting my digits and still streaming air months away your cash, nigga. I'ma shade the king to live here, cost bags, nigga. Hey. I push stock my whip, you ride trans, nigga. Can make a whole career off your flops. Man, not that you ride trains. I push stock you ride. Oh, man. This is how we go in and here. This, this is what we do it. This is what we do it. Cashes. With your cash, nigga. I'ma shade the king. <laughs> To live here, cost bags, nigga. I push stock my whip, you ride trans, nigga. Mm. Can make a whole career off your flops. A deaf mute, know the sound when Benzino drops. Crickets. <laughs> Niggas a bitch, bend it over. Mentioning a killer who a fucking smoke. I won't say crickets, man, because you know some, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised with the amount of people who are defending M. I mean, not M, defending Benzino. But at the same time, too. I kind of have a feeling it's not really defending Benzino. Because, you know, that's why I said to my boy, like, I need to filter myself. You don't filter nothing, bro. The same way you talk to me, that's how you talk on YouTube, man. Don't care. I'm like, yeah, I ain't filtering nothing here. Like, I don't feel it's people who are 
defending Bazzino. I honestly feel you. Like, M got so much hate out there, bro. It doesn't matter who says anything bad about him. You got those set of people who will jump on that bandwagon. Man, it could be Donkey from Shrek come out and say something about M. You're going to have all them haters who jump on Benzino's bandwagon, jump on Dr. Umar's, jump on everybody's bandwagon, and be like, yeah, 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 but, 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 you are this, you are back in, you know what I'm saying? And after a while, it just gets bored, boring because it's the same same repeated thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, you know. But on a real note, um, this track here, so far, so good. But if we had to compare it with Benzino's last track, I'm honest. Ben Diesel's, Benzino's last track was, was flames compared to this. You know, I need to hear some stuff being said in this to catch me. Still a good track, but yeah, the last one was still, yeah. That was a walk on. <laughs> I put 10 P's on your head, it'll be a movie I push paper, not peace, nigga Since the show, the album smoking, no cheat, niggas So light up, this ain't even dropped I feel like I'm beating my pops But if a dead beat pop shit, his jaw I get socked This jab I feel like I'm beating my pops, bro. Like, you <laughs> Let's go, man, let's go Silence for I beat your fucking ass Your ghost rider back doors You snake up in the grass, I can really go you in You see what I'm saying? Your ghost rider back doors Cause I just, I saw a few clips Wait, he admitted to having ghostwriters. Might not be specifically for that song, but he said he has ghostwriters. You know, people help him out. Duh, 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 duh. And you know what I'm saying? In that one, his cadence, his switch up, his flow. And I've heard, I've listened to Benzino, man. What do you tell me? That I had a Benzino album. So people be going at like, bro, you know, bro, I've listened. I'm, I was a big source, source fan. I was, I was pres um, prescribed, subscribed to that shit every month. And I was in the Caribbean trying to get the Source magazine, you know. I was a big Benzino fan, bruv. Come on now, you know. But then when people go out, I was just like, nah, fam, can't defend certain things. You know, but at the same time, I'm not going to take away from the art. If the boy comes out with a fucking good track, it's a good track, you know. Um, yeah, this is going to open the bag for a lot of people coming out the door to try and make a name. They're going to be trying to jump on this bandwagon and try to come and reply. I bet you there are going to be more people coming at Benzino. And the more people come in it, the more I'm going to say, like, nah, guys, you know what I'm saying? M needs to reply. He needs to reply personally. This ain't your beef, you know? But still, this is hip-hop. But I'ma say that shit. Fuck you over and let Charlemagne play that shit. Keep my name out your dentures. On Twitter, on Insta, get popped by your cousin. Let Charlemagne play that shit. Another, another M hater right there, you know what I'm saying? Like, just in general. There ain't nothing you could say to Charlemagne about M and or Drake. That. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing, nothing. <laughs> on Twitter, on Insta, get popped by your cousin so your family ain't with you. The nerve of this nigga start to purge on this nigga. I'ma stomp his head while he bite the curb ass nigga. This skill, step out your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that in real life too. Ooh. Yeah, I've seen that in real life. Not, not. Drill, bass nigga. This is skill. You step out your body and it's a drill. See, I'm way more active when niggas is getting killed. I spent the air body hooting. Cuz oh, so your family ain't with you. The nerve of this nigga start to purge on this nigga. I'ma stomp his head while he bite the curb, mm -hmm. ass nigga. This is skill. You step out your body and it's a drill. See, I'm way more active when niggas is getting killed. I spent the Everybody who they fuck one of mine, I'm traumatized. A nigga speak on rob, then he dying, I'm traumatized. A nigga speak on pet, then he dying, I'm traumatized. A nigga speak on I'm knowing they won't miss you if I slide goofy. I told you if it's up, you gon' have to shoot me, capo. Bitch, I'm calling out names. I was raised by corrupt, you leased off Dave Mays. You overgrown, and I'm connected. Corrupt, one of the best freestylers out our generation, man. People don't put enough respect on Corrupt's name. Go on, catches. Hey, man, All that shit. You overgrown. And I'm connected. Air zone like a mobile phone. Can fetch you up. Leave that coke alone. My mind fucked up. I came from a broken home. I like the coke with drama. So I never leave the smoke alone. It's the reason when they diss, they don't say Ramon. Zeno went from a made man to a flaming hoe. My whole life, I'm 079 crazy. I'm the problem and the hustler. Snipe your ghost rider, baby. See, they're on this ghostwriting thing. So they're on this ghostwriting thing, man. Uh, everybody's been talking about this ghostwriting. You know, people want to 
say like, oh, you can't prove it and that, but this is, and let's be clear, hip hop is 70, 80% ghostwriters right now. Everybody has ghostwriters. But when you're doing a battle, yeah, real talking, if you have a ghostwriter writing for you, it don't count. It does not count. If you don't, then the bars are different. It hits different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, it's just too much people talking about bringing it up. But if I was to compare this to the last one, Benzino had that, man. The last one Benzino had was Straight Flames. You know what I mean? Let's just get straight into it. Yeah. Um, Cash is, did his thing here. But we need M to reply. And I know there's going to be more people coming out. More people going to be coming out trying to have a go at Benzino. You know, I still give respect to those who have the balls to open their mouth and go at M. He's a GOAT. Everybody's afraid to be saying something. You don't have to give respect when somebody decides to come out and yo, yo, yo. And Benzino and M has had long lasting beef, valid beef for the last 20 years. You know, not like game that just decided to jump on to get sales or other people who say a name. They've had valid beef. Yeah. So, yeah, let me know what you all think. I can be wrong in my opinions, which I've learned. You know, people don't like when people give their opinions. <laughs> I don't give a damn. We're here for this, yeah? Hip-hop. This is what we need. I need some more. I need some more, man. I need some more. We need some more people coming out, calling out some names, man. Yeah, once we're keeping it on wax, that's what we're here for. You know, look at Nicki and um, uh, Megan Thee Stallion going on right now. You know, Cat Williams out here shaking up the whole damn world. Like, we need this shit, man. We need this. Makes it interesting. I'm not here for the violence and the negativity, but in the whole zone of what this whole music genre is this is what it's about anyway if you guys inside it that subscribe like share thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys on the next one man stay safe